Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so something a little bit different today. I'm heading up north um, to go and do a dealer visit because I've got a couple of koi to pick up that I purchased uh, a few weeks ago now. Uh, and I'm heading up to Crew uh, to Danny's Koi and Aquatics. Some of you might know him, some of you may not. Um, so yeah, um, it's about an hour, hour and a bit drive up there. Uh, a couple of fish to pick up. A couple of nice fish actually. And... Um, I'll try not to come back with any more, but I can't promise that. Um, so yeah, I'll see you when I get up there. I think the majority of these in here are shiki goy. Pretty nice fish. Ooh, like that Shizuba. Very nice Shizuba that is. Nice Deutsch Sankey. Oh, nice Deutsch Sankey. These are all for sale as well. Danny was just telling me that he's uh, started using Bapto Plus clay. And this pond is pretty damn crystal clear. So I've just bought some of that as well to try my own pond. Safe to use with a drum, it's not going to clog your drum off, so I'll give that a go when I get back to that. Some beauties. Nice seating area. Another little hideout. Yeah, with some more ponds. Sorry if it's a bit noisy. Yeah. Nice selection of goy. Some Kia series, which I'm going to be looking at because we don't see many Kia series around. These guys are in quarantine. These two ponds here are running on an easy pod. Well, one of them's running on an easy pod, gravity fed. 
and one's on a tempest. And it's on a two inch inlet with a UV, which is what I wanted to do, convert my pod to gravity. I was unsure about it um, being a two inch inlet, but Danny says that that works fine. So yeah, you can run a two inch inlet on an easy pod on gravity fed with a UV. But yeah, the other pond on the other end is only running on the Tempest. And it's doing a cracking job of filtering that water. Sneak peek. Two new ponds. Show us. Ether show is in here, as well as a few others. Let's just put those up, apparently. Here's the man, Danny himself. Right, I'm gonna go and buy some fish. So, back from Danny's now. Um, Spent a good couple of hours up there, hour and a half. Had a look around what he had to offer. Very impressed, I must say. Um, and it'd be rude if I didn't come back with some fish. So, I'm going to leave them in there just to float for half hour. And then we'll get them out and see what I'll come back with. I'll chop. Right, so first up, um, I've got an Isa shower. It's one that I won on auction um, probably a few weeks ago now, four or five weeks ago, but he was in quarantine, so I've only just now been able to collect him. It's coming in at 17 centimetres. I've already got a shower, but this one came up for a decent price in the auction, so never want to miss out on a bargain. So, definitely worth going on to Danny's auctions. I'll show you the details on how to get involved shortly. But yeah, here's a nice new addition to the pond. But for the time being, we're just going to put him in the quarantine in the blue pool. So let's get him in and then I'll show you the next one. And the next one to come back is another one that I won in the auction. A Yugenji Tancho shower. 15 centimetres. Um, I've wanted a Tancho shower for a while. He's got a slight kink in the tail. You can probably just about see it. But it is barely noticeable. Um, it's 15 centimetres. And this one, <laughs> I got an absolute steal. 20 pound. Yeah, 20 pound I got one that four on the auction. So, worth 20 pound of anyone's money. Like I say, slight bend in the tail, but you can barely notice it. And it might grow out of that. Doesn't bother me anyway. It's all lovely little fish. So let's get him in the uh, in the blue pool and move on to the next one. 
I've uh, got two more. Uh, these two I just bought up, uh, bought while I was up there. Um, nice here at Surrey. For the life of me, I can't remember what the uh, breeder was. He's coming in at 13 centimetres. Nice little growing on project. Um, I did intend just to go up and get a key at Surrey because I've been after one for a while, but I saw this little fella. And I quite, uh, quite liked him, so. Yep, another nice addition. You got to see him develop as time goes by. But once again, uh, we're just going to put him into the blue pool for now with the other new additions. And last up is this little key, the uh, key at a uh, nice gin ring. Um, like I say, I haven't uh, seen many, or well, any key at Surrey, any dealers that I go to. Um, so this was one fish that I was definitely after. Plenty of sumi there looking to come through. Uh, it's only about 11 centimetres. But sizes and everything. But I'm sure it'll pack on some weight. Yep, another nice little addition to the pond. But it's just starting to rain again. So I'm going to get him into the blue pool with the others and let him settle in. Right guys, so yeah, Danny's uh, Queen Aquatics. Highly recommend um, his services. I'll leave these details on the screen here now for you. Um, to get involved in the WhatsApp auctions, um, contact Danny via the telephone number on the screen. Tell, tell him I sent you along um, and just ask him to add you to the, um, the WhatsApp group for the Koi Auctions uh, which happen every Saturday, every Saturday night. Um, you're definitely going to grab a bargain, highly recommend it and the fish are all quality. Japanese Koi, uh, cheapest I've ever seen. The reason he says he can do them that cheap is because he hasn't got the overheads as some of the other dealers. So yeah, highly recommend you go and take a look. Um, as you can see, the rubbish weather has come back in again. Um, I'm doing little bits and pieces trying to get this new pub built. Um, but when it's like this, I can't get the cement mixed right. But I'll get there in the end. Uh, so anyway, I'll leave it there for this one. Um, if you haven't already, Please hit that subscribe button. Uh, really helps me out with the uh, with the channel. And uh, until next time, when it's hopefully a little bit drier and sunnier. Thanks for watching.